What's up everybody? You're here with the Fly Guy. Today I just want to do an update to an older video that I had previously done on how to save money on fly tying thread. Uh, this video, I'll put a link to it in the description and I'll put a card up here for you if you want to check that video out after this one. In that video I reviewed the Coates & Clark Nylon Monofilament Clear Sewing Thread. It came in 300 yard spools and the diameter was .005. Um, this thread here uh, that's pictured uh, is the updated version of that and that's what they're selling now. Uh, the previous model is uh, somewhat difficult to find. Uh, the only place that I found it is Walmart. Uh, you can get that online or in store. Uh, but this is the new updated tying thread that I use. Um, it's not tying thread, it's actually sewing thread. Um, but you can get it in clear and black, and I think another a uh, few more colors are coming out soon uh, also, so uh, there might be like a copper color, um, but I haven't seen that in stores yet. So the previous thread was a little bit thicker in diameter. Um, it built up a little bit more, and I only used it for streamers. Uh, the newer thread here um, is a very small spool, but you get 100 more yards because it's thinner in diameter. So uh, this thread is not as strong. Uh, it doesn't have the tensile strength of the previous thread. It uh, is just not as thick, but it is still strong enough. And I tie uh, a lot of streamers incorporating large materials like uh, big saddles and bunny fur. So this thread definitely has the strength. You just have to be a little bit more careful and figure out your breaking uh, range when using it. Um, but it also fits in a bobbin way better. Um, and uh, I used to actually put that bigger spool in uh, this bobbin and you had to really stretch the arms out uh, to get that spool in there. So this is kind of a nice um, feature that with a thinner diameter the spool is smaller and it can be uh, fitted into a bobbin way easier. I also like that it comes in black. Um, it actually saves me on head cement um, when I'm using that, so uh, I use like fingernail polish and things, so um, having the black thread base makes things easy, um, and you can get creative with some of your fly patterns on switching up thread colors. Sometimes when I coat heads with a clear sparkly finish, um, the black thread really stands out nice uh, and gives a nice background so the color is more vibrant. Uh, you can achieve some pretty cool looks with that. So. Um, if you are interested in using an alternative tying thread like this, um, this obviously isn't your name brand uh, fly tying thread that you'd get at a fly shop, but uh, it is worth a shot in my opinion. I use it all exclusively. I don't really buy tying thread anymore, um, only for specific specialty patterns that you know require something different, but um, I use this all the time. Uh, you see it in my tying demo videos. And uh, if you are interested in giving it a shot, I'll put a link in the description below um, to a couple different colors in a couple different places. Uh, you can get this at Walmart or Michaels um, or any other craft store. I've seen it everywhere. And it's inexpensive. So if you are looking to give it a shot, um, it's great for streamers um, and maybe medium to large size nymphs. Um, you obviously wouldn't want to use this on a dry fly. It does build up nice thread heads for streamers. Um, all the tying demos that you see, the last one I did was a uh, sunfish bass sonker and uh, I used that thread in that video. So uh, it builds up nice heads without getting bulky too quick um, and it enables you to go invisible uh, when you put UV resin or nail polish over top of it. It just, it looks absolutely like ice. It's really cool. So uh, give it a shot. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit thumbs up, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more fly fishing and fly tying videos. Thanks for watching everybody, take care, and we'll catch you next time.